FM News Talk 97.1. On Demand Audio. We've talked about Eric Greitens. We've talked about the Attorney General race. We've talked about the Senate race, Lieutenant Governor race. One of the local races that got settled last night because it's only a primary, but in St. Louis, um, if you win the Democratic primary, you've effectively won the general election. Um, Generally speaking... I can't remember the last time a, a Republican got elected uh, as, as uh, uh, I can't remember. I'm not saying this hadn't happened, but I can't remember the last time somebody got elected to that office um, who has, who, who was a Republican who was, you know, became circuit attorney uh, or mayor for that matter. And last night, Kim Gardner, a uh, former state rep, uh, won that race. She was supported, of course, by Lacey Clay. Um, The Post-Dispatch ran some interesting articles on this leading up to it because part of her funding, I mean, tens of thousands of dollars disclosed to the Missouri Ethics Committee came from a super PAC run by George Soros called the Safety and Justice Committee. So it was established effectively to support candidates that agreed with George Soros uh, and would uh, try to get into office and change the way prosecutors handle prosecutions. Kim Gardner's the candidate that they chose here in uh, this race, and she won pretty handily last night. Ask Jeff Rorta to join us uh, from the uh, St. Louis Police Officers Association. Jeff, how are you? Good, just lounging around in my Mark Cox shirt. Hey, I'm glad to hear that. Oh, you do need you're gonna you're gonna need one of those too, aren't you? Let me get let me get your name down on the list. <laughs> right over to me. The very long we will list. get that right over to you. Absolutely. Um, yeah, your reaction to uh, the election last night? Well, you know there were certainly some su- surprises, uh, but you know elections are kind of like good news, bad news jokes. I mean, you yeah. you know you always <laughs> have some some highlights and lowlights, and uh, you know you never win them all, you never lose them all. Well, you know, I, I brought this up earlier, and, and since Ferguson happened, people talk about the Ferguson effect. Mm-hmm. But one away from the policing side of things, there, there's two ways to reform the justice system. One of them is through the legislature by changing the laws, and the other one is through, I assume, how, how laws are interpreted and, and prosecuted at the circuit attorney's level. Sure. Um, there's been a lot of heat on the judges for being too lenient on gun crimes and setting the bonds too low and people getting back out on the street. Um, this, this candidate, Kim Gardner was elected running on a platform of change. She's going to get in and change the way things have been done. Uh, and, and I don't, my, my suspicion is I'm not trying to put words in your mouth that that change will not necessarily be one, uh, that will, that, that police will be happy about. Well, you know, that remains to be seen. You know, we we're hopeful that we can work with Kim. You know, I served with Kim in the Missouri House of Representatives. We we always had a very good relationship. Um, and I've reached out and congratulated her this morning. Uh, she obviously wasn't our first choice. Uh, but, you know, we, we want to roll up our sleeves and work on the crime problem with anyone willing to do that. And I guess the good news is, you know, she's replacing one of the worst prosecutors in the country. So hopefully... <laughs> You know, there's no way but up with the situation we're in. Yeah, I mean, I, I kind of wondered. I, I looked at this earlier, and, and it reminded me a little bit of the of the situation in in Baltimore with, with Marilyn Mosby because that's an example of where wanting to change the way things are prosecuted can go can go really poorly. I've heard yeah. you call Ter- yeah. and, terribly and, awry. Yeah, yeah. and, and you know, she, she's, she's a good example of that. That was my fault, not Liz's fault. Hold on. I've heard your calls for no justice, no peace. However, your peace is sincerely needed as I work to deliver justice on behalf of Freddie Gray. Now, I don't know Kim Gardner, but I, I do know that, that um, Marilyn Mosby is an example of a prosecutor who made some decisions from a prosecutorial standpoint because the community had demanded change, but they, they were, every attorney I've talked to was critical of how those decisions are made. So if those changes have to be, if there are changes that are going to be made, is there a direction that, that the association would like to see that go? Sure. I mean, we, we're very uh, unhappy with the job that Jennifer Joyce has done, uh, particularly in recent years. And, 
you know, she she has conducted herself very much like Marilyn Mosby, sort of lorded over a, a city that's inundated with crime and and done very little uh, to aggressively prosecute criminals. Uh, on the other hand, just like Marilyn Mosby, she's uh, overly aggressive when it comes to prosecuting cops. There's, you know, she's she's filed this malicious charge, this, this, this uh, political prosecution against one of our former cops from a from a case four and a half years ago where a guy tried to kill him twice, right? And he defended himself, and um, it's it's very akin to what's what's happened in Baltimore. Um, so that's that's not what St. Louis needs. You know, she's got Joyce has got four attorneys working that case, and she won't even put one attorney on on hundreds and hundreds of cases that need to be prosecuted. So that's the that's the change we're looking for, is we're looking for a prosecutor that's actually interested in doing something about the violent crime problem we have here. Um, and uh, we hope that, that Kim sees it the same way. You know, we're bothered by the fact that she took money from George Soros, who, who uh, almost single-handedly funded the the protests in Ferguson and the anti-police rhetoric that, that came along with them. But, you know, we, we deal with a lot of politicians who take money from uh, from people who we don't agree with uh, that we still have good relationships with. I'm talking to Jeff Rorta from the St. Louis Police Officers Association. Do, do you have a realistic hope that uh, Kim Gardner is going to aggressively prosecute criminals the way we we need them to be prosecuted? Well, I mean, here, the mantra Black Lives Matter, um, it, it should matter to a, a prosecutor, whatever their skin color. And, um, you know, the the fact that we're failing so badly at, at uh, aggressively prosecuting crime in this city uh, disproportionately affects black folks. So, I mean, I think our interests are aligned, and um, I think it's just a matter of, of, uh, you know, there being an understanding that, that our interests are, uh, are aligned. Yeah. yeah, that's a good point. Uh, uh, Jeff Rode, I appreciate your time. Uh, we'll get you on the list for a T-shirt. How about that? All right, Mark. you got to promise to wear it proudly. <laughs> Thanks for your time. See you, pal. All right, bye. Uh, Jeff Rode there from the St. Louis Police Officers Association.